In almost every public place today, the ears are assailed by the sound of pop music. Ambient sound is not human conversation, but the music disgorged into the air by speakers. The prevailing music is of an astounding banality, no longer an art in which gripping ideas are followed to their distant conclusions. It is there in order not to be really there. It is a background to the business of consuming things, a surrounding nothingness on which we scribble the graffiti of our desires. The belief that there is a difference between good and bad, meaningful and meaningless, profound and vapid, exciting and banal, this belief was once fundamental to musical education. Very soon they will understand that music is not a blanket with which to shut out communication, but a form of communication in itself. And gradually they will know the place of this great art form in the world that they have inherited. melodies and mechanical rhythms, the stock harmonies recycled in song after song, these things signify the eclipse of the musical ear. The worst forms of this music, sometimes known after the trade name as music, are produced without the intervention of musicians, being put together on a computer from a repertoire of standard effects.
that since the state has proven that there is no God, there is a God. I am a human being. I am a human being. I exist. You are obsolete, Mr. Wordsworth. You have no function, Mr. Wordsworth. You're an anachronism, like a ghost from another time. I am nothing more than a reminder to you that you cannot destroy truth. You're a bug, Mr. Wentzworth, a crawling insect, an ugly, misformed little creature who has no purpose here, no meaning. 
Delusions, Mr. Wordsworth. Delusions, the Bible, poetry, essays, all kind, all of it, an opiate. The state has no use for your kind. Many undesirables were left around, and undesirables eventually form a core of resistance. Romney Wordsworth, step forward. The board finds you obsolete. That will be all, Mr. Wordsworth. You may leave and return to your room.